developing now a call to stop the spread of a deadly drug on the rise in the Finger Lakes and Rochester areas. Senator Chuck Schumer joined with law enforcement and medical officials today in Macedon. Alex Love joins us in the studio with more. Alex, we're hearing this drug cannot be helped with Narcan. That's right, Teresa, and that's why Senator Chuck Schumer is sounding the alarm. This drug is called xylazine, but it's sometimes referred to as Trank or the zombie drug because it can cause your skin to rot. Lately, authorities have noticed more of it being mixed with popular street drugs, killing dozens of people in the past year. To prevent future deaths from xylazine, Senator Chuck Schumer is calling for the federal government to provide $537 million for local law enforcement, which Wayne County Sheriff Rob Milby says will strengthen their crackdown on the distribution of xylazine at the county level. We have resumed, resumed those efforts now, so those monies would, would also help um, us with our investigations and getting to the table with all of our county stakeholders in order to advance those investigations together with our neighboring counties, such as Monroe, who's having this crisis, uh, to form task forces. A 66% increase, which is a big increase, would be approved um, this summer and be able to be arriving in law enforcement here in Monroe and Wayne counties and elsewhere uh, in the fall. Xylazine is commonly used by veterinarians to tranquilize large animals, so it's not illegal to buy. But Senator Schumer accuses drug dealers of purchasing it from providers overseas in China, then mixing it with popular street drugs like fentanyl and heroin. So far, we have not seen the interference of the drug, xylazine, when it's used by veterinarians being stolen or purloined uh, by um, uh, drug dealers. It's almost all foreign markets. Last year, 59 fatal overdoses in Monroe County were caused by xylazine being involved, while Wayne County experienced three with 10 more under investigation. Narcan doesn't treat effects from xylazine, but medical experts still urge you to apply it to a victim to treat the drugs it's mixed with. Even though that won't impact or affect the xylazine, it will uh, offset the uh, opioid overdose. And so we encourage folks to still use the, uh, the Narcan. Senator Schumer is also asking the FDA to work closely with the DEA to track any illicit sources of xylazine coming through the Northeast and upstate New York from overseas and at border entry points. Teresa? Alex, thank you. The Monroe County Sheriff's deputies at the event said this drug doesn't appear to be centered in a particular age group or demographic. They've seen it affect drug addicts of all backgrounds.